Hey everybody, Will here at Tom Cruise Studios Live Music in Austin for episode number four of Three Beers and Whiskey featuring George Von Doom. Let's talk about um, the actual Austin music scene as far as um, performing in Austin, the state of Austin music, you just drop it down right there. Beer number two. Um, it, there's been for well for a long time but probably in the last couple of years um, a movement for trying to like pay a living wage to the awesome musicians or you know just doing a lot of stuff to um, bring up oh I hear whiskey <laughs> and, is that okay That's perfect there we go sir mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, here we go. So it's Coke Zero? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, some clear looking Coke Zero. Extra ice. <sighs> I'm gonna send you the on loop. Yeah. Oh, you gonna be working tonight? You wanna throw a plug out of work or no? No. No, okay. <laughs> Sorry, coffee. No plug for you, sir. No, I love coffee. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so do you have any any take or any opinion on um, where it is like going to perform in Austin right. and make money where you go to do you ain't, you're not um, going to do your shows for free you want to get paid for them but that's what everybody's bitching about is like nobody gets paid shit to do a show I mean to be honest everybody don't deserve to get paid that's that's just how I feel about it now the ones that do of course that there, there should be something in, in play to where these venues have to pay these guys to, to come out and, and perform or do whatever it is they do. Now, there's, a, there's an analogy I use to, to, go into, to go into the pay to play thing along with this oh, conversation. Oh, okay. I mean, like some fires with this pay to play thing, because this is a hot topic. Go ahead. People be calling it, nah, I'm just grinding for my getting my, you know, what? So, here's the scenario. Uh, you, this is how I, I literally explain it okay. on a regular basis. Please do. You have Thanksgiving dinner. And after you get done having Thanksgiving dinner, there's one or two things that happens. You get the itis, or you gotta take a shit, one or the other. Uh -huh. so, say, so, so say you get the itis, you go to sleep, and you wake up, and you have to take a shit. So you go take a shit, and you get done taking a shit, you go to use your, try to flush the toilet, and it don't work, or uh, damn. You try to plunge it, it don't work all down. So what you do? You call the plumber, right? The plumber comes through and he fixes your toilet. And when the plumber gets done fixing your toilet, you look at the plumber and you say, all right, you owe me $800 for fixing my toilet. Okay. This is what I mean by that. These fucking venues want you to come and perform. Mm -hmm. They want you to come and work and then pay them to come and, and work. Right. The same way with the promoters, the, no, you can kiss my ass. Okay. I've been doing music way too long. I'm not paying you to perform. You can kiss my ass, my whole ass. After I shit no wiping, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm not paying you to perform. There's no way, no. And now, so what about, you know, and there's that really fine line between, um, Paying dues? Well, no, no, pre pre ticket sales. Like, oh, hey, we got this show, and I'm gonna give you 20, 25, or fifty tickets to sell. If you sell twenty five, then you're paid for your portion, and you get all the money you make on the oh, other twenty five. Talking about after? That's what you're talking about. That the after shows. That's what you're talking about. I'm just asking. Uh, look, here's where I'm at with it, with that. Save that for the people who ain't been doing music around here for 10 And before I even continue to go, because I was about to use him as, as a, uh, as a, no, nah, this, nah, this is serious. I, I was going to use him as a, uh, as a, as an example. Uh, rest in peace, MC Overlord. First Overlord, all, love you. God bless you. We right. miss you. Right. Rip OB. So could you imagine that Overlord wants to do a show? And somebody trying to charge him to perform, or tell him to sell his own tickets to his own show? Nope. Been around so, too long, seen that too long, and it would never happen. So, so life. this is my point. That at, at some at some point in time, your artistry 
it's just that your longevity is just that you shouldn't be out here having to sell them fucking tickets. You know what I'm saying? Like now, if you are an artist that don't have many fans and they're trying to make you get out there and work, it's part of paying dues. Sometimes that is it. You gotta hustle and get but, the get the people to come into the venue and watch you. And yeah, they're gonna pay exactly a cover or and buy some beer. I'm to I'm to a point to where my name will draw a few people. It's not going to be a thousand fucking people. I know that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to get... Uh, uh, you're going to get some in the door because I'm performing. And the type of people that can actually do that after paying dues for years and mm-hmm. years, don't insult me by saying you got to pay the performer. You got to sell No, no, I, I got you, man. And, and you're right. You're 100% right. Because there, there's, there's probably on, on the hands you know, less than 10 people that by their name, whether it's the group or an individual, right. that would be, oh yeah, oh that person, yeah. I'll go to their show. Yeah, like you you, said, you may not, you, all right, you got 20, 40 people, cool, whatever, you may have somebody that by their name, they're gonna have four or 600 people in there. Yeah. But, but still, on, on as yeah, it is, see, yeah. See, the, the country kings can do that, Smack Ola can do that. MC Overlord could do that. Could. And it, yeah, it's, Vallejo? Vallejo can do that. I'm speaking more so on the level of hip hop. Hip hop, right. But we're talking about, you know, just yeah, whichever Tita one. It's the, the young guys, Tita and, uh, and uh, uh, Kitty G, they can do that. So at this point in time, they, well, they've been around, Tita especially has been around a lot longer than people give them credit for. Mm-hmm. So those guys especially can see, me, get booked without having to go sell their own That beer makes you want to burp up, oh, right? Oh, please. Mm. Uh, okay, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to take this shit a whole different direction because here's what's great. Okay, so we're, we're going to take a dive from the rap and hip hop thing and I want I want to go on a real personal trip with you. Let's do it. So, um, and this is, you know, we're in Texas. Football is king in Texas. It is what we live and die and breathe and bleed. And and there's two things that Von Doom that I know about that trips my ass out. And number one, we'll start here with college. Wait. Talk to me about Maryland. (laughs) You mean about the fact that we came to Texas and burnt this bitch down? Uh, and then, and then Texas tried to go to Maryland and, and it had them some turtle soup and it didn't work out that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, so, I, I've been so, over y'all ass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so so where's Maryland coming to store for you, man? What's up? So, tell me about Maryland. How, how, why? You, Maryland is home. Maryland. Born in Maryland? Born and raised. All right, well, there you go. Until what age? Until 16 years old. And then I came to Texas, but. They, oh, say, they say it's not where you're from, it's where you're at, but you're not getting Maryland out of it. And it's tagged no, on me in three different places. Yeah, I mean, I live here in, in, in Longhorn country, and I love the Longhorns, and I will I'll never, watch them. I will never throw the horns up. Until I do this, and then saw them <laughs> And saw them. <laughs> saw them. <laughs> so, okay, so Maryland is, because that's where you're born until you're 16, right? And then you ended up in, in Austin? I ended up in Sanger, Texas. Sanger, Texas. So this is, you're setting yourself up bad for this next one. <laughs> you're setting yourself up bad for the second half of this, this question. All right. So now I understand why, because, again, folks, on Facebook, you know, uh, on Saturday, tomorrow, it's vicious being a friend with George Von Doom because then he's talking massive shit about the Longhorns and or can just, it's on a regular basis. Regular basis. Brutal, okay? But you understand, born in Maryland, lived there till 16, and then came to Texas, Sanger, Texas, and, about as big as house. and been here since then. Facts. Whole lot of goddamn minute. Wait a minute. Put the motherfucking brakes on. Hold on. A shot of whiskey before this next one goes down. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You're gonna want a shot of that whiskey after I ask you this question too. Yes, How in the fuck did the Broncos meet in all oh, this shit? Okay, yeah. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Oh, uh, mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cause there's a whole bunch of Cowboys fans over here that are working in the crew, and and I know because I've seen you with the Broncos, and again I'm friends on Facebook, so I know it's Broncos love, and I'll right. set you up for that shit. So wait, 16 Texas Sanger, and, and the Broncos came from where? All right, so I have an explanation for this. First of all. <laughs> the crew's time in. Being, being from Maryland. Okay. People, people in Maryland don't, don't even like the Redskins. Let's just get that clear. Well, nobody likes <laughs> so, Growing up, like- growing up, the Redskins was the closest thing to a team until we got the, the, the Ravens back. Okay. Right. Right. The Ravens used to be the Baltimore Colts, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah. Colts, you know. Went to the Browns and came back. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So my brother was always a Cowboys fan. He hated the Redskins. I hated the Redskins with him. Your brother, your brother's still with us, or no? Yeah, no, no, not the one that passed. Okay, all right, all right. Sorry, I just want to. No, nah, you good. Um, so he, I'm trying to run up underneath for him and and just. So he's like older my older brother. brother. Yeah. <laughs> so your older brother's a Cowboys fan. And yeah. So I became a Cowboys fan also. And oh. I started watching football by myself one random day. Mm-hmm. And just so oh, happened. Oh, your older brother yelling for the Cowboys. You just watched it. Right. And oh, God. I oh. saw Steve Atwater. And, and? I, saw, and I saw Terrell Davis. I oh, saw yeah, there you go. And McCaffrey. I'm like, yo, McCaffrey, these, badass. this is before Super Bowl Broncos. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, these guys is hard. So I started playing with them on Madden. <laughs> the Broncos, the Broncos was the first team I bust my brother ass with on Madden. <laughs> ever since then. On PS2, PS3. Oh, this was way before this. This is, uh... Don't say Sega. Game this, this is Game Super Game Nintendo. Game. Y'all, okay. This is Super Nintendo. Like, this is a long time ago. This is Super Nintendo time. So, so I'm showing sure my... Ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, kind of, I'm kind of showing my age now. You know okay. what I'm So, all right. So, it really just came down... It, it, right. it really came down to that. And then... I, I, I shout, scream and shout for the Ravens because I'm in Texas and I want to represent my home. Yeah. And then. The Ravens got the Unfortunately, I got. Man, uh, especially with Ray. Yeah, amazing. Boy, badass. Unfortunately, I have four teams, including the three I just named, and then. I don't know why I like the Jacksonville Jaguars, man. Jaguars are all right, you know. Fire but I, I've, liked I've, liked them, like, I've liked them since David Garrard and. Um, Moyes Jones Drew. So this is before last year when they should have went to the Super Bowl. Mm. I've been like that for a long time. So, I mean, you know, I, I just watched, but unfortunately I haven't watched a single game of football this year, so. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Unfortunately haven't watched or you made the, because it's made not the unfortunate, choice. then it's not unfortunate. That you just it's unfortunate because I love football still. I and used to is, play and football this is and for the the kneeling. Yeah, all, absolutely, absolutely. And I'm gonna tell you why. Tell me why. I have friends and family who are military. Okay. Some of them still active. My big brother uh, is no longer active. He actually was discharged a long time ago. Mm-hmm. He was Navy. Mm-hmm. Uh, my homie Jay McCall. Shout out Jay McCall. He is. Uh, he just stopped. I want to say three years ago. He is uh, Army. A um, couple other guys I know. Okay. Um, and if I feel like this, if they completely and wholeheartedly support, why can't I? And they're military, and they understand the reasoning and the meaning behind it. I okay. Think a lot of people's a lot of people's problem is instead of listening to the person's actions and voice, they listen to what they think the person really means. Right. Out of it. Yeah, because Colin, what, what, Colin came out of his mouth and he said it has nothing to do with disrespecting the flag. That's why yeah. I talked to whatever the guy's name is. Talked to that was the Green Beret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said he that's why I talked about it was about yeah, police, police and mentality. And, uh, mentality and, and, and he said this is how the guy told me to 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 do this. So this is what I'm doing for it. And this comes the from most the respectful military. way to right. protest, but so, still show his so, yeah, show respect. So so I said okay. If all these military people that agree with him agree, why can't I sit down and really 
pay attention to what these guys are saying. I sat down and I really paid attention to it and I finally was like, you know what? They completely went against our constitutional right this year mm -hmm. and said, we're going to leave it into the hands of the, the owners. owners. <laughs> yeah, stupid. We're going to leave it into the hands of the owners and then, yeah, I'm good on all that. Will Tompkins, for me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you all very much.